Hi, today we're going to be looking at subtracting fractions. Let's get started. Okay, so there's two things that we need to consider when we're subtracting or adding fractions. So if you've seen my adding fractions video, this will be a review. The first thing that we need to consider is uh, uh, we need to make sure that both fractions have a common denominator. If you recall, we call the top number in a fraction a numerator and the bottom number we call a denominator. So when I say we have to have a common denominator in both fractions, that means the two bottom numbers have to be the same. And then the second thing you do once both uh, fractions have a common denominator, you subtract the numerator and, le and leave the denominator as is. So let's look at these two examples here. The first thing we look at is denominators, are they the same? In this case, yes. If they are, all we have to do is subtract the numerator. So what's 4 minus 1? 3. And we leave the denominator as is. So 4 over 6 minus 1 over 6 is 3 over 6. In this case here, we look at it and we say, do these guys have the same denominator? No, they do not. So we have to make this fraction um, well, we, we have to have both fractions have the same denominator. The easiest way is to make this fraction out of 8. Well, how do we do that? If we multiply this by 2, multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2, we'll have this fraction will be a 6 over 8. And then we could just subtract this way. Now we have a common denominator. 6 minus 3 is 3. So the answer is 3 over 8. Now you might be thinking, what did I do here? If you're not understanding this, please go watch my video um, um, equivalent fractions. You have to understand 3 over 4 is equivalent to 6 over 8. These are equivalent fractions. In fact, if I were to write 3 over uh, 4 equals 6 over 8, that would be a correct statement. These two are the same thing. They look different, but value uh, from a value point of view, they're the same. Um, so they're equivalent fractions. Okay, I have a couple of questions uh, to practice. Uh, so let's do some questions together and see if we can really solidify our knowledge here. So let's look at this. 5 over 8 minus 1 over 8. Are the denominators the same? Yes, so we just subtract the numerators. 5 minus 1 is 4 over 8. Denominator is the same? Okay, then we just subtract the numerators. 3 minus 1 is 2. And we always leave the denominator the same. Denominator is the same? Yes, so we just subtract the numerators. 4 minus 1 is 3 over 6. Okay, let's look at this here. Here we've got uh, fractions that don't have the same denominator. So we need to make them the same denominator. Well, we could do this by multiplying this fraction by 3. So 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. And then we drop this fraction as is, 4 over 9. Now that we have the same, sorry about that, now that we have the same denominator, we can subtract the numerators. 6 minus 4 is 2 over 9. Right? Pretty easy. Again, denominators, not the same. We could make them the same by, ma by getting an equivalent fraction of 1 over 2. And we do that by multiplying both by 4. So now we have... This becomes 4 over 8, and now we could subtract. 4 minus 3 is 1, so the answer is 1 over 8. Okay, our last question here. This is tricky. Um, the denominators are not the same. We can't multiply 6 by a whole number to make it a 9. So we need to find a common multiple of 6 and 9. Well, the closest one that I think of is 18. So if we multiply this fraction by 2, and we multiply this fraction by 3, what's going to happen is we're going to find an equivalent fraction here. 3 times 3 is 9 over 18, and 4 times 2 is 8 over 9 times 2 is 18. So now we have a common denominator of 18. Now we could subtract. 9 minus 8 is 1 over 18. So the answer is 3 over 6 minus 4 over 9 is 1 over 18. And that's pretty much it for subtracting fractions. Hope you've enjoyed watching this video.